initially was just with the fa well, just with Facebook because the application built on Facebook, and you guys have since branched out from that. Um, I guess coming from a macro level perspective, do you think people rely too heavily on social media to get their messaging out there? Um, before I answer that, I actually wanted to talk about you know you were, you were saying like what's better, having a direct sale or attention, right. um, and. In 2012, attention actually is more important than a direct sale. Like, so if imagine this was my my single, and I could sell this single to Michael here for a dollar, or I could get his attention um, as a, as an abstract concept. And he, so you could buy it, and it's a dollar, and that's done. He listens to it, and that's it. Or you could say, you know, I don't have time, or I don't have, I don't want to buy your album, but I'm willing to give you something else. And that something else may be that he likes and comments and shares that that song onto his wall. Um, and then maybe a couple of his friends pick up on it, and that creates a viral kind of uh, attention um, that could be worth much more than that 99 cents uh, would have been if there was no other action. Um, and what's interesting is that let's say that, that Michael, you know, like I'm a producer of an album, and, and Michael really likes my music, but none of his friends, and there's not a single person of any of his friends that would enjoy my music and a share of, of, of my music onto his wall would theoretically be useless because all of his friends and family don't care about my type of music. Well, it's actually not useless because of um, on Facebook there's a system called EdgeRank, but on most systems there are, are things like EdgeRank where uh, it will detect that, that a piece of content is being shared or commented on or liked enough that it will start pushing that content into other people's news feeds. So if I'm, you know, I'm, I'm an artist and I have a thousand fans and Michael is a really big fan of mine, he's never bought any of my music, but he's like always liking and commenting and, and sharing my music. That's gonna make it so other people that are fans of mine who like my page are gonna see more of my content because Facebook is gonna say, wow, there's people like Michael out there that are really big fans of this, this guy's work and they're, they're getting really engaged and we should show it more. Um, so the fact that, that Michael is engaging with my music and giving me all these like engagement points by liking, commenting, sharing, and RSVPing, and doing all this stuff, uh, he's giving me much more value than if he had just bought my album once and, and listened to it and that was it. Um, so that attention is, is definitely more valuable. It, it's, it's obviously you need to bring in revenue in some way, but um, a direct sale is not always the, the best case scenario. Um, uh, when you were asking me about um, if people use social media too much to, to get their message out, um, I would say not really. I, I think that people still don't value social media as, as heavily as, as they, they could. Um, and I, I'm saying this looking from like looking at bigger brands and not looking at younger people. Because when I, when I look at younger people who um, are actually using things like Tumblr and, and Facebook and they're using it in a way where I think that they understand how to get that viral effect going and they are more, they're less focused about getting the direct sale and they're more, more focused on like, hey, like, do you like the song? Like retumble it and if I get 50 retumbles, I'll put a new song up. Like those, th those kind of people are thinking really progressively and get it, but I think a lot of brands don't understand that yet. Mm -hmm.